This is Jackie, and I'm here with Avian and Roe. Day one, Dallas Warp Tour. The sun's shining. Enjoy that heat. You're from here. You can, you can tolerate the heat, though, right? Oh, yeah. You're good. Oh. is playing in the background. Can't really go wrong with that. No. Great band, I mean, great band. Can't complain about Warp Tour. Um, tell me about your uh, recently uh, new album, In Separation. Describe the overall sound for uh, new listeners out there. Um, I guess that's a little bit of a loaded question. Describing your band's sound is something that... It's, it's a question we get a lot of when Kellen Quinn walks by and starts saying stuff. Come here. You want to be in it? Come here. I'll talk about In Separation. In Separation's alive because of this man right now. Not true. Quinn. Hi. How's it going? All right, get, get out of here. Okay. Bye. See you later, Kellen. In Separation is something we worked on a long time. We put our heart and soul into it. We try not to describe the sound because I think we want people to go listen to it for themselves and make up, uh, you know, for themselves, make up in their own minds what it sounds like to them. Um, for us, it really is a soundtrack and a window into our world. Um, what it took us, you know, we worked on it over two years, so it really is a. Some bands do an album in, in, in one month, I guess, sometimes, which is a great way to do it. But for us, it took a long time. So, it's a real versatile album that you know horizons a, a large period of time so it's a pretty versatile album but rather than try and like describe to you like we literally tell people we're a rock band we don't go into sub genres or anything our fans can do that for us um i would i would i would beg people to listen to it for themselves we're a new band a lot of people haven't heard of us and our goal on this tour is to have people say i've heard of them can't pronounce your name but i've heard of them yeah even yeah <laughs> get that. i feel like they'll get that avion avion, avion row We'll get it eventually. I mean, I'll say it 85 more times and still botch it. So, if fans heard, uh, if fans rather heard one song to get a good idea of your sound, what would you want them to hear first? Oh man, Sophie's Choice. Um, um I mean, personally, I would, I would go sing me to sleep because I feel like it's kind of the core of our band. Like, because I mean, we have like we have a lot like of, of electronic sound, a lot of songs, but like at the root of us, we are a punk rock band. At least we'd like to think so. So how did that loser Kellen end up uh, helping you out? We fate maybe I think a little bit of luck. I think these things happen for a reason. We uh, had released a song with Alternative Press called Jettis and Tears, and it was just kind of a little bit of luck. He kind of heard it. He was sitting in, a, in an airport and heard the song, and it just spoke to him. He said, "Man, this is unheard music that people need to hear." And he reached out, I think, on Twitter, and you know, tweets become. Emails become texts, become phone calls, and a friendship formed. And he's obviously a wildly talented man with a lot of pull, and was able to help us jumpstart our careers. We signed to Epitaph Records because of the, you know, the platform that he built for us. All right, so maybe he's not that much of a loser. Or whatever. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so describe uh, your lead single, uh, "Carving Flowers," and how that represents your sound. Is it our lead single? I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> We never even thought that song was a single at all. Um, we love that song, and um, it's the first song we play in our set, if you come see us at Warped. We love playing that song live, but it's not even a single to us. It, it was kind of just something to put out in between what we thought were the singles, which obviously is Into the Rest, because Kellen Quinn's beautiful voice is on it. Sing Me to the Sleep, uh, Sing Me to Sleep, excuse me, like he already said, is, is what we feel like is the core of our band, kind of this punk rock sound. And Carving Flowers was almost a filler in between those two for us. So it's, it's gotten really good reception. We feel lucky to have that, but I don't think we ever thought of it as a single. What is a single, really? Aren't they all singles now? Yeah. They're all singles they really now. Are. Welcome to the digital world. Yeah, pretty much. What are some messages you hope fans take away from your songs? Um, I think one of them is, one of the big themes of this record for all of us is kind of finding yourself as a person and, and overcoming a lot of obstacles in the way. And really being happy with who you are and I think that's something that you hear when you listen to the album and it's something that at some point in everyone's life they definitely need to do so that's a big theme that I want people to pull from the album. Well said. So how do you guys go about choosing your set list for Warped Tour? You get 30 minutes. You got to make it count. I mean for Warped Tour we just you know it's at the root of at the root of this festival it's a punk rock festival and we were like Let's just bring a really energetic set. I mean, we like to put on a really energetic show, so we just wanted to have the songs that people could just go crazy to. And we're throwing a couple old ones just for old fans that have came out and see us because we've, you know, we've played a, these Warped Tour a couple years, and we want them to come back. I remember that song, but we also want them to hear these new ones and relate to them. Well said. How do you guys connect with fans over social media? What's your favorite platform to use? This is you all day. This is me. Um, 
So anytime you hit up Abby on Row on social media at all, you're probably talking to me. Um, we aren't. On yeah, we're all in there, but I, we're all on there. But I'm on there a lot. Um, I love Twitter. I don't know what it is. I think it's just it kind of allows us to be more of our um, individual selves and and not just like hey we're in a band, but hey we're we're humans too, and and we like to have fun and. And it's just, it's really lighthearted, and uh, that would be my favorite for sure. Well, make sure you keep in touch with Avion. You nailed it. Avion Rowe. Yes. yes, I finally got it. At Avion Rowe on Twitter. At Avion Rowe that was not on Twitter. at the same time. That, that was, awesome. was great. Yeah. Stay tuned for much more from Avion Rowe. This is Jackie. <laughs> Thanks to In the Key of Change and Chorus.fm. See you later.